The place Americans call Motor City has officially broken down. Detroit has become the largest US city to file for bankruptcy. The once mighty home of the auto industry is struggling to pay debts close to $18 billion. From a financial point of view, let me be blunt, Detroit's broke. The city has been in steep decline for years. Its population has more than halved over the past few decades as people moved away to find work. Joining me now is Dr. Adam Lockyer, lecturer in American politics from the United States Studies Centre. Dr. Lockyer, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Tell me how this could happen in a place like Detroit. It was such a booming and prosperous city not that long ago. That's right. So in the early 20th century, you had the huge automotive industry all set up shop in Detroit. But in the second half of the 20th century, all the jobs disappeared. They all went offshore and now the city is bankrupt. What's it like there? I mean, are there houses that are empty? Are there people that have left in their thousands? Oh, there's whole suburbs that are empty and buildings have just overgrown or the windows are broken. It looks deserted and there's whole tours now that it's now a tourist attraction that people go on bus rides through these deserted cities because it does really look like the day after a major war or catastrophe. It's just deserted. How big is this an event that a huge city like that would declare bankruptcy? I know it's happened mm. with smaller municipalities, but for someone as big as Detroit? Oh, it's unheard of. So the next largest went bankrupt and it was to a tune of about $4 billion. This is $18 billion. So you can see that's a, a huge magnitude of change between this, the, the next biggest and now Detroit going bankrupt. Could anything have been done to sort of slow that? Oh, we need to diversify the economy of Detroit much, much earlier. So it was all built around the auto industry and as soon as industry isn't there, the jobs aren't there and everybody who could work has moved away. Um, so, I mean, you'd, you'd have to have some forward thought and sort of diversify the economy much earlier. So I guess the people that are there now aren't the workers, aren't the people paying tax, it's people that are needing the tax. Exactly right. So since uh, 2010, 26 percent of the population has fled and that's mostly the you know the producers so the workforce have all gone looking for jobs whereas those who either can't move away or either work for the government or maybe on pensions uh, they've all stayed so the ones who are taking taking uh, finance off the state and the local government they've stayed but the workers have moved away so there's no tax base will this only be solved then if people come back Yes, so you need to diversify the economy, you need to rejuvenate the economy by bringing in different industries, um, say telecommunications or IT or, you know, the future economies. And it's, it's too late to look back to the old manufacturing jobs that aren't like, going to come back. Okay, well, Dr Lockyer, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.